everyone, welcome to a new collective haul for the month of September. This is just going to be me opening packages as I get them throughout the month. And today we have a package from Right Stuff, which was kind of a surprise when you see what's in here, but a welcome surprise. So as you can see, I got a good chunk of Banana Fish volumes. So these volumes I had ordered, I want to say about six months ago now, and this is not even all of them, but... I hadn't given up hope that they would ever send these, but like I just wasn't expecting it to be anytime soon and the fact that they just randomly sent me half of these was pretty cool. You can tell that these are like brand new printings. They feel like really crisp. So I know Viz is working hard to get more of these volumes out and I'm excited to have another chunk of them so I can actually start reading these. I think as of now I'm missing volume 6, 8, and then like 13 through 19 but I have some of them ordered and some of them not. It's a mess but I'm happy to have these and I hope it doesn't take another six months for the rest of the volumes to come. But yeah, I'm really happy to have these. And then also in this package, they sent me my Nana volume one. I talked about this in my last haul, but I am really excited to have Nana. They are reprinting it. So don't pay the scalper prices for at least volumes one and two. I think three is coming in January. And hopefully if these sell well, they'll continue reprinting them or just like reprint them all at once. Kind of like how they're doing with Banana Fish. But yeah, I'm really excited to have this. I'm probably gonna hold off until I have maybe like five volumes to start reading this, but I love the anime so I think I'm gonna like the manga as well. And then lastly in this package I got volume 18 of Dr. Stone. I still haven't read volume 17 but I like to pile a bit of volumes up for these because they do come out pretty quickly like every month or every other month pretty much. So yeah I'm excited to get into this. Where I left off they started a new arc and I've seen lots of art and stuff of these characters but I don't know who they are and I'm excited to find out. So yeah I'll see you in the next clip. Hello, we have one package for today, and I got this on Mercari USA. So what I got is volumes 29 and 30 of Hunter Hunter. These are ones that have been out of stock for a long time, and I kind of jumped the gun on this one because I know a bunch of Hunter Hunter volumes are coming back in stock at the end of September, beginning of October, but I just saw these popped up and I got them so I could keep reading. I think now... I am only missing 31 through 33, so after I finish this one I'll be on the hunt again, but yeah, I'm really excited to have these and continue reading Hunter x Hunter. The ant arc is almost over, if you can tell from this cover and this cover, but yeah. Hello, I'm back from Barnes & Noble, and I kind of got a lot more than usual because I did get my first paycheck from my new job, and I kind of went on a little shopping spree with a part of that. So yeah, first off, I decided to get, I think, like 20 volumes of My Hero Academia. I think I've mentioned this in some recent videos that I finally wanted to start collecting these in the physical because I've always read them just digitally. So yeah, I think I'm only missing like five volumes now. I ended up going to a different Barnes & Noble than usual because the one I usually go to, they have all the like popular manga back behind the counter. So you have to like ask them to get the manga for you and I'm like super picky with the condition of my manga so I'm always worried they're gonna pick one that has like a chip in the corner or a dent. But this time I was able to like scour out all the volumes and pick the ones that were in best condition. I actually like didn't get I think volume 9 just because all of them were smushed and crushed and whatever. So I ended up buying the rest of them online and I'll finally be caught up in the physicals and I'm probably going to reread this series. I am keeping up with the weekly digital releases but it's been a while since I've experienced at least the beginning part of the story. I started reading this series maybe like 
right when it came out, I'm not quite sure, maybe like five or six years ago, if that sounds right. But I mentioned in my top 10 video that this series really reminded me of Sky High when it first came out. And I was like, ooh, what's this new superhero high school manga? And I decided to check it out. And it's been all uphill from there. So yeah, I must have looked very um interesting to the cashier when I rocked up with 20 volumes of this in the Barnes & Noble. But yeah, I'm just really happy that I got most of the series out of the way and that I could just have it now and reread it whenever I want, not having to look at my iPad and hurt my eyes and hurt my head. So yeah, I also got a couple other things. So let's take a look at those. First, I got the first volume of Skip and Loafer. This is a new release. And I've heard some good things from people. I tend not to get new series that I know nothing about until I hear the reviews of some other people. So that's why you might not see like brand new titles in my hauls right away. But yeah, I heard a few good things about this. I think it's about a girl who starts high school in the city and she's from the countryside originally. So she kind of acts a little different than the other students in her class and is trying to assimilate into this new school. Or maybe she just wants to stand out and the moral is that like you don't have to change to conform to society or something. I don't know. I don't know if it's that deep or what, but this looked cute and I'm excited to read it. And then next I got volume one of Donuts Under a Crescent Moon. I've heard that this is a really good office romance, Yuri between adults. I think a lot of people expect me to be like an expert on girls love manga because I'm a lesbian, but it's quite the opposite because I feel like from what I have read, it doesn't reflect my experiences. Like I found things to be either very tropey or even problematic so i tend to not take chances on series but i've gotten so many recommendations about this one so i decided to pick it up i think there's only two volumes out right now and then lastly from bards Edible, i got my summer of you this is another one i've heard from a couple of people was really good i think it's a high school bl about these two guys that are in the film club so they like to watch movies together that's something they have in common i think so yeah i've heard this is pretty cute even from people who don't really read bl so i'm excited to get into this and then another thing from Barnes & Noble, I swear Barnes & Noble is not the best place to get manga as it is basically retail price, but I find that it's just more convenient and they usually have things in stock that other places like Red Stuff don't have in stock. So sometimes I'm willing to pay a little more to have stuff in a timely manner and not be waiting like some of my Red Stuff orders have been on back order for like six months. So I would have rather paid an extra $2 a volume to get my stuff when... I knew it would show up kind of thing. I don't know. I'm just rambling right now, but I did get a package from them. So let's open it up. Oh, that was kind of a fail. Okay. I do like these little cardboard packages they've been doing more often though. So what I got is a couple more volumes of Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. And if you saw my Instagram, I started this series. I read the first three volumes and I loved it. It was so good i knew the art was amazing like i already knew i was gonna like it for the art but the fact that i also like the story is like a major win for me i knew the series was popular so like i know it must be good but it just never clicked in my brain i always just like appreciated this series from afar like i've seen the animation i've seen the art from this it looks beautiful looks gorgeous but i'm not a fan of fantasy series in general but this one caught me by surprise and i had to like essentially pre-order volume four since it's out of stock but yeah i'm really excited to have these Hopefully the next volumes won't be out of stock when I go to get them. These have a little bit of damage from the transit, but it's okay. At least I have them and I'm excited to read more. So yeah. Hello everyone. We got one package for today, but this one's really exciting. I feel like I've been waiting months for this to come back in stock, but it finally did on Amazon. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but like <laughs> the cover. Anyways, this is Chainsaw Man Volume 4 that has been out of stock for months and yeah, I can't even flatten this out because it's like a crease like in the cover so I'm gonna have to return this. Oh, this is so sad. Hopefully there's still more in stock when I go to reorder it. But yeah, I'm excited to read this when I get my new copy hopefully, but dang, yeah, Amazon. This is the first time I've gotten a really bad package from Amazon in a while, but that's just unfortunate. Hello, I have a couple packages for today, and I'm gonna start with the least promising looking one. You know, I love to buy used from eBay and Mercari, but sometimes you just know. You have like the sinking feeling in your gut when you see the package arrive. Kind of busted, and you can hear stuff rattling around in there, so you know it's not secure. But let's see. So what I got is a lot of kind of random volumes of Haikyuu, and actually, they look... Not so bad, even though that packaging was kind of atrocious. I think I see, yeah, volume 27 is very yellowed at the top, which wasn't on the listing. But you know what? 
I'm just glad to get these. The seller took like, I think about a month to ship them out. And like, I'm a very patient person. It's not like I need stuff now, but they kind of like left me hanging and didn't tell me when stuff was coming or whatever. But I'm glad to have these slowly picking up high I think this lot was pretty cheap. That's why I picked it up. And I think I'm still missing like 15 volumes, but I've already read Haikyuu, so I'm not in a rush to get the physical volumes. Next is something I've been really excited for. It came all the way from Spain. So let's open this up. Another thing that I was a little hesitant about buying, because I didn't know how other countries' Amazons package stuff, because the US Amazon is not promising at all of a reference that I have. But what came are a couple volumes of Rainbow, so you will be seeing the rest of these soon. They sent them kind of in like separate packages, but yeah, Rainbow is one of my favorite series and I had always read it scanned. I knew they had a Spanish edition of it, but if you live in the US, getting Spanish manga is kind of a hassle and really expensive, so I never bit the bullet and did it, but I finally did it and I'm really glad. Everything looks okay. I've noticed that with a lot of Spanish volumes, they all have these slip covers that are prone to getting damaged easily. So there's a little damage on these, but I was honestly expecting that. The packaging was better than Book Depository, which I've also bought from. And I did have to get, I think, one volume from there in this series. But yeah, so far I'm happy with this. I think these are the last volumes. I think there's 22 volumes, so 20 and 21 and then three. So yeah. And then the last package for today is from Right Stuff, trusty old Right Stuff. I know my packaging will be legit with them, so I'm never worried. This is also a kind of unexpected package. I think they sent some like random pre-orders and random other stuff I had ordered. Usually they don't do that for me because I tend to make like very purposeful orders with them. Like I will split it up into in stock and out of stock and I rarely pre-order from Right Stuff. But for some reason, I felt like doing that this time. So yeah, let's take a look. First, we got some more volumes of Banana Fish, volumes 15 and 19. Again, slowly collecting Banana Fish as they come in stock. Now I think I'm missing maybe like six volumes. So we're getting there. Next is a pre-order I've been really excited about, Hinamatsuri volume 13. I love this series. I'm glad that volume 13 came out fairly quickly from when I finished volume 12, but I don't know how often these release. I believe there's 19 volumes total. So I'm always excited to get more of this. Love this series, highly recommend. And then another pre-order is volume six of Given. Honestly, Given is on thin ice. This last arc I really disliked and I was gonna give it one more volume to try. So if I don't like volume six, I'm gonna be dropping Given, but I believe that arc is finally over. So hopefully this new whatever's gonna be happening, I like. Because I do like some of the characters and the story in general. It was just too much drama for my taste in my romance manga. And then another pre-order that I'm really excited about, Beastars Volume 14. I haven't read 13, so I was saving them to have two. Love Beastars, one of my favorites. I recently read Beast Complex to kind of tide me over until I got Volume 14. And so I'm itching to get back into the story. And then kind of some miscellaneous volumes I got. I got 1, 2, and 16 of My Hero Academia. I'm only missing two volumes now and I ordered them from Right Stuff and they were out of stock. I think volume 9 and 25, the one with Shigaraki on the cover that's like purple and it's like everyone's favorite cover because the art is so gorgeous. But yeah, finally I can start rereading My Hero Academia in the physicals. Like I've mentioned before, I am caught up with this on the weekly and stuff, but I haven't experienced the beginning of the story in a very, very long time. Like since this first came out, before the anime came out, like when the manga first came out. So I'm excited to relive the story again and get re-immersed into the world because where the anime is right now is kind of like a lull in the story in my opinion so I want to get back to see like why I really love this series and I really like this cover because Kirishima is my favorite character and if you know what happens here pain so yeah <laughs> moving on I checked in a random volume five of House of Five Leaves now I'm only missing volume seven I still have not read past volume one of this but I think I will enjoy it so I kind of just wanted to have the rest of the volume since it is an only eight volume series and these have been going out of stock lately i don't know if it's going to be out of print soon but if you're interested in the series i would say to snag it up quick and then i got volume nine of twilight bound hanukkah kun still waiting for my volume four to come in but i figured i'd get volume nine because i'm really enjoying the series so far even from the first three volumes i think i'm really going to enjoy the rest so i decided to pick it up 
And then lastly for today, something I could not believe was in stock, volume 1 of Pluto. I believe the rest of the volumes are out of stock, but something I'm not planning to read until I get all the volumes, because I know it's kind of a pain to get them right now. I did the same with 20th Century Boys, which was much easier to collect, but I'm excited to get into this as so many people have said that this is their favorite work by Naoki Urasawa. Even though 20th Century Boys is regarded as like his best work, a lot of my friends say Pluto is their favorite, so yeah. Hi everyone, the moment of truth. This is my replacement for Chainsaw Man Volume 4. Hopefully the cover is not bent in half this time, but my expectations are low, to be honest. As they always are with Amazon, but... All right, all right, okay. Actually, this looks legit. This looks okay. Like, if the corner was smudged or something, I would have been, like, fine with it. But... Honestly, this is fine. This looks good. No complaints here. Really happy because honestly, I have had to return stuff a couple times sometimes. I think like my World Decoy Volume 1, I returned that like three times. But like I had a gift card. I usually wouldn't order something like larger from Amazon either because I know they're going to send it in a bubble mailer like this. So I would never buy like a Omnibus or like Shaman King Omnibus or something like that because I know that's going to get banged around bad. But I'm willing to risk it with like a small viz volume or something like that because usually it's okay. Last time was just unfortunate, but we're good. It's all good. I have volume four finally. I can keep reading this and I'm satisfied. Hello, we have one package for today and it's from a book depository, some place that I don't usually order from because it is located in the UK. Their prices are a little expensive for an American. But what I got is volume 16 of Rainbow. And this is kind of a bittersweet package because this was the only volume of Rainbow that I had to order from Book Depository because Amazon Spain had the rest of the volumes. And as we saw before, I did get three volumes already, but the box that has the rest of them might be lost. Amazon sent me an email saying that the package might be lost, which is really sad because I'll get a refund, but that means I'll have to repurchase probably from Book Depository and their prices are like four to five dollars more expensive per volume and it was already expensive to begin with, so... If I don't get that package, I'm going to have a very random assortment of volumes of this, but hopefully it does show up. The tracking, the last time updated, said it left Spain like four days ago, so I think Amazon's just freaking out because usually stuff from there comes really fast, so hopefully that's the case and hopefully I get my package because I really don't want to have to repurchase from Book Depository because this volume alone was like $16, which is the price of like three Viz English volumes, so yeah, if I can avoid having to do that, I will. But that being said, this might be the last package for this month because a lot of my pre-orders also got pushed back. So you'll see those in October. And yeah, so thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, and I'll see you next time.